When I was a, a kid, I wanted to be an actor. I did not want to be a dancer. And then there was a few dancers in Paris Opera. One was called Jean-Jacques Béchad. For me, he was a mentor. And then I looked at dance. If that's what you can do, you know, then it's going to, it must be exciting, you know. When I was really young, I happened to work with Balanchine. He came also to Paris Opera. It was much better than anything we had done in Paris Opera. With Balanchine, you were challenged all the time, for sure. And it was Robbins also, and for a Frenchman to leave the Paris Opera, that's supposed to be one of the best, and uh, to be uh, an étoile of the Paris Opera, to, to leave for America is not evident. But going there uh, really changed me for the best. Some of the best ballets were Balanchine because he reinvented the, the classical ballet. And I was lucky that when, when I was young that I could see that that was the, the way for classical ballet. There's all those, all those moments, all those moments that change your life. We had the possibility to, to go to two other cities, two other companies at that time. And we chose Charlotte because we really believed in uh, the ambition of the, of the city and of the people in, in Charlotte. When we arrived first, we were told by the chairman at the, uh, of the board at that time that it was a very difficult time for the company, which we knew. It was, and the company was really, the board was thinking about folding, except if they could find a leader who could really become really an important part of the city, then it would be stable. So we had, Pat and I had enormous responsibilities for that. And we took, we took it on, uh, it was exciting. That was Pat and I, we, we could not have done it just with Pat or just with me, you know, it was just us being you know, strong uh, advocate of, of dance. And when we came, many people thought that we would do a mini New York City Ballet, you know, and they had no idea that that's not what I wanted to do at all, you know, that uh, I wanted to present choreographers, I wanted to have a diverse repertoire. Uh, and, uh, you know, the standards were Balanchine, but it was not the only direction I wanted to go to. But it was difficult, it was very difficult. The first years were difficult and, you know, when you want change, you want to change things at Indiana University also, it was very difficult at the beginning. You know, but Paris Opera was not that easy, you know, and so that's life. <laughs>
I mean, yeah, 20 years is a good part of your life, so it's a commitment that, that you make. And, you know, it's not... Uh, there's work, there's different work that you have to do than just being a, an artistic director. But, you know, you wish you would have been able to do it in 10 years. <laughs> It'd be nice. Five years, why not? But, you know. But, yeah, it's not easy to be patient. And what you remember really in, uh, is some magical dancers. You remember also the amazing uh, donors, board members who really wanted the company uh, to be successful and, and believed in what you were doing. The greatest success, I think, is to go in the audience and, and the audience also being happy with what they see. You know, it's so often that that uh, people in the audience said, you know, that's the best show, I've seen so many, but that's the best one. They come back the next show, say, that's the best one, you know. Just to talk to them, just to have that communication. Uh, even if you have a bad day, you know, that suddenly that changes your day, you know. And so I can have an effect on the dancers. Dancers can have an effect on, on me. So when I see them, uh, I say, oh gosh, what, what? What joy watching them. I'm so lucky to be here, to see all these different talents and, uh, and to see them work well as a team. It's the, it's the interesting, imaginative dancers that bring the best choreographers. And it's the best choreographers that help you to hire the best dancers. We want to be surprised too. We want to wake up in the morning and say, you know, what am I going to learn today? What, what is going to give me pleasure? Or who am I going to discover today? What talent? There's a friend of mine who says something that I think, I think is so interesting. She is a hip hop teacher in Chautauqua. And she told a student one day, and I was there in class, yes, you are dancers, 
and uh, you are working every day to become better. But what you have to start with is to think about yourself as an artist. And I think that that's the best way to describe it. That frees you also, frees your technique. But if you are identified as being trusted to be an artist, then it's all different level of uh, working in the arts. When you hire somebody, then you have made a commitment to that person. I think you just have to trust them from the beginning. I think that's the best result because if you trust them, you're going to rejoice in what they do. They won't shy, shy away from, uh, from what's so special about themselves and they, they will feel allowed to be themselves. You know, Mark Gordon said something so interesting one day. He said that uh, he was looking at a dancer uh, was rehearsing in front of him and I was there to, there was something happened in the, the step that he missed or whatever, or the interpretation that he was giving. And Mark Garden said, you see, he, this dancer makes the right decisions. And that's what you have to do on stage. You have to see what they do with it, to see it with making good decisions in the work of a great master. It's like to be a conductor taking you know, great liberty with, uh, with a Mozart concerto, you know. I believe in our dancers here to make the good decisions. And it's a great, great quality. You know, it's expressing with your body. You don't have to do it with words. You can do it. There's something direct about dance. That passion going through your body so directly, like emotions going directly out of you. I think it's something that I will never change. I, I find myself as passionate about, about life and, and about dance uh, that I was when I was young. In fact, more than when I was Young because I was much more limited. In the, there's a tradition that you pass on also. Uh, that I started with the Paris Opera and then the New York City Ballet and, and to pass on what I've learned and to pass on with love and receive love and affection. Those things are very important. I mean, I see that every day, you know. There's, uh, I don't think I will remember the difficulties uh, and it has been many, you know, it's normal. But I think I would just remember the individual talent, being friends, donors. You know, if you are interested in yourself to grow yourself, then you want also to work with people who have the same idea, the same joy. It's really about joy. Joyful life. <laughs> That's really what's so exciting that it can be. It can be if we, if we really want to go forward, if we are not constantly, you know, thinking about the past, if we can be really just in the present and, and looking forward to the future, that makes a different life.